right here? Right oh shit, guys, it's right here. All right, so we've been, we're literally been chilling here. <laughs> Just camping it out. For 40 minutes. For a minute now. The tow truck driver, let him know. Give us like 15, 20 minutes. We're trying to, no one has left this area or went into this area. So these gates will not open. Why the hell is there gates? There's not even gates around it. It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, um, Devon came up with a good idea. We're gonna try to roll the X5 backwards to hit the, the, the you know, the, what's it called? Sensor. The sensor or something. Um, and those gates might be able to pop open. So let's go talk to him, see if we can get a jumper kit and uh, see if we can get this X5 home. Oh, what's going on? I just stepped on a puddle of shit. All right, guys. Um, so we're trying to jump it from back here. What the heck is all this? Yeah, this <laughs> this is, is under the spare tire. This is under the spare tire. There's a battery and there's like a little thing on top of it, I guess, that holds a tire. But he's going to go ahead and try to bring his tools. We have nothing on us. We're in the rental, right? So yeah, anyways, the car does have power. We tried cranking it. The lights keep flicking on and off. It actually looks like it could be a battery issue. Um, that'd be Don't insane. I know, I know. But I'm 80% I'm sure it's a starter. 90%. The trailer. For real? Yeah. Shit, alarm didn't go off. All right, guys. Shout out to him. Let's see if this stuff works. First crank. Nah. It's a... What the heck? What the hell? Yeah. All right, it's a new, it's a neutral. All right, guys. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and push this thing back, and hopefully we can get this thing loaded up on the trailer. Guys, we're good. We're steering this thing. Oh my lord, Devon! <laughs> let's go. I better help. Over there. Okay, cool. Let's go. All right, they gotta push it some more. I'm out here just steering. What a wimp. So yeah, guys, here she is. X5. It's a 3.0, but clean title, and it's mint. It just won't turn over. Don't know if it's the battery, don't know if it's the starter. Don't know, it could be something very stupid. The only thing the tow truck driver doesn't know is that this thing's stolen. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine, we, the way he picked it up looks so sketchy. Wait. Way too many. Damn, this shit got bags? Bro, this thing has front sensors, rear sensors, navigation. The screen works, which is crazy. And honestly, we got some tools. We got the hook. It's lit. Oh, damn, the lights work. <laughs> High standards. I know, right? We don't normally get this shit. Not a three hundred dollar car. Damn! Look at the features. About to just unload this shit. I don't know where though. Should I put it on the driveway? You want it right here? Uh, can you put it right here? We can put it on the driveway, right? Push it out there? No, nah, you can put it on the driveway actually, I think. Let's see. Nah, oh, you mean like right here, right here? Yeah. Let's put it right here if you can. If we can put it right here? Yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> Opening up the lights for me and shit. I appreciate it. I don't know if it's for me, but I appreciate it. No. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're actually working on a new build, a new project. You guys probably saw from the thumbnail what we got exactly. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked on it. Um, we really don't know what the heck is going on with it. She just says it doesn't start. Could be a battery, could be a starter, could be the engine. We have no idea. We haven't even decided on the price yet. She's saying something below 500 bucks, like maybe 300 bucks, something like that. She said, first, take the car from me. I'll give you the keys, you know, figure out what's wrong with it. If it's something too big of a hassle, she's like, don't worry about it. Just, you know, you know, just, just take it. If it's something like minimal, um, you know, minimal issues, then just give me a couple hundred bucks. So regardless, we're going to give her a couple hundred bucks because she's giving it for a great deal. The car is in immaculate shape. But yeah, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me just talking about it all day. So uh, let's go ahead and head into Costco, pick up a new battery for the car, head home and see what's going on with it. Lunch, got my battery, let's go home. All right guys, we are home. I'm about to actually enjoy this salad real quick and then I'll catch you guys uh, once I'm finished eating. 
All right, guys, just went ahead, enjoyed my meal. Vaughn is finally here, so we're gonna go ahead, move the X5 over to our house. Can't believe I'm actually saying that, X5. Over to the front of our driveway, get it cleaned up, because we want it to look really nice. It's really, really, really dirty. And after we clean it up, we'll go ahead and stop at the battery and figure out what's going on, you know, run the code, see what is causing the car not to start up. We basically did just <laughs> What's up, bro? I know, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we scrubbed off a lot. I mean, we pretty much used the power washer for a lot of the things, but all this stuff won't come off. It's like, it's pretty much deep in there. So we're gonna have to actually hand wipe, hand wipe all this stuff. Look at it, it's disgusting. It's literally all staying on there. So um, yeah, I guess there's gonna be a little bit of a deep cleaning here. Look at the, dude, look at this. This is how many? Came with some free protein. No, <laughs> Throw that in our protein That's shake. Free pro free food. <laughs> oh man. She's looking all beautiful and everything. Let's open up the door. Okay, it's definitely gonna need an interior detail. Completely forgot about that. But since the outside looks clean, it makes me feel like I can sit inside now. <laughs> so yeah, this thing, guys. <laughs> we ain't not using that. The, um, this car, guys, actually has like heated seats, PDC, I don't know what that is. I guess you can open up the trunk from the inside. Oh, damn, I think. Like, does it pop all the way up like shocks? Or does it unlock? I don't know, I have to find that out. Um, I guess that's for mountain stability. I don't know if you guys didn't even see that, my bad. Uh, oh, let me. Got you there, buddy. Ooh, toe hook and everything. So it has the nav. We saw this working. We actually plugged in uh, some jumper cables. But uh, yeah, this thing looks brand new. I don't know how. That's crazy. These things only break and crack. Look how fragile they are. Look at this boat. It's actually like really well taken care of, guys. If you guys could check this out. I'm amazed in the condition. Look at me, bro. I'm gonna sweat your shit. Forget about me. It's so hot, dude. You got the dude. This thing even has the garage door thing. That's an extra feature to pay on these models. Look how look how much features this thing has. No man has like two buttons on here. Yeah. It almost is maxed out. I don't know what this is. You think the the trunk opens yeah, up on its latch. own? Yeah. So it's not like it yeah, just look unlocks. At, look at, it, it, it's it goes right up. Right there too. So there's the bottom part. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, let's just go ahead, throw a new battery in, and see if we can get this thing started. Hold on, so you can start up. Oh man. Oh, we got AC. This should work. We got radio. Let's see if this AC, let's see if this AC thing works. But get your ass in here. It's a lot colder in here. I think. Is your phone cold or hot? That's hot as shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hell oh yeah, no, come on. Moment of truth. That sounds like no compression. She's tripping. There is zero compression. That is not the starter, which I'm actually quite happy about. There is no compression in no, this car. No, but the way that she talked about doing the maintenance, she seems like she was on top of that. Yeah. So I'm assuming spark plugs. You think spark plugs? Yeah. Dude, oh. That's weird. Let me try this one more time. It hasn't been started up in a while. Dude, it almost. Dude, this is not the starter though. It's not definitely not the starter. I'm actually hyped. That's actually like oh, such good news. Yeah. I mean. I have the engine blown up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. I hate the starter, guys. I don't know if you've ever done a starter replacement. It is an absolute ass unless you have a lift. So uh, check it but out. But if you need a new motor, yeah. it's not as bad. Because then you just throw the whole car away. Exactly, you know? So at that it's, point, you know, you just throw it. It's less of a problem just to have no motor. Exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the codes, guys, and let you guys know what's going on here. All right, Carly is not sponsoring this video. I should probably tell him to pay me in advance for this. <laughs> but but um, yeah, guys, so yeah, again, I'm using Carly. Probably the best scanner you can use on the go um, to run it. go ahead and run the codes. The best part is that the OBD doesn't work. That'd be solid. Bracket, pop that sucker in. Let's go ahead and run the codes. I'm gonna go ahead and run the codes real quick. By the way, uh, car has, 140,000 miles. Mm -hmm. 
California's only water coaster. Plus 30 rides and attractions for everyone in the family. Plan your day of fun at GoFlan.com and get your splash on. GoFlan Suns. Stormani motivation. Alright guys, so we're gonna try to see if we can hear the fuel pump uh, pretty much kick in. So you wanna hold the camera and deal? And just try to hear if you hear anything like making a whistling sound. What the hell is that? Mm, that so that's the fuel pump. So fuel pump is good. She said she replaced that. It's so close. We can test for Chocolate compression. Cheap. Yeah. Oh, compression? You got the compression. I have the compression tester. Alright guys, so uh, I think the fuel pump is good. So it can either be, um, sorry I'm like sweating, like this car is so hot inside right now. Um, I'm gonna test for compression first. If we're not, if we're, the thing is the last time we did on the E46 guys, that wasn't the problem. So I think we should replace ignition, like ignition coil, spark plugs. Because some, pe some people say in the forums that the reason of low compression is because it's been sitting for a while on one of these older cars just builds up in the engine or something like that. I'm not really too sure, but um, I'm going to give it a few tries with some other things, but it sounds like it wants to. It's just something. Maybe even the fuel lines are clogged. So we're going to have to try out a few things here. All right, guys. That's the good thing about keeping your tools. I still have my compression tester for my first ever E46, so uh, I guess we're going to use it. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and remove all the ignition coils and then the spark plugs, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So you have all the ignition coils out. There's two of them that are different, which means that maybe they're starting to go out. Uh, but looking in here as well, uh, I am no professional, but there is no oil in any of the spark plugs, which means there's no valve cover leak from internal gaskets, which is good, which means I, I, I'm assuming she's been re she replaced it already because it would make sense it would be leaking on this car. So uh, I guess at this point, we'll go ahead and just remove all the spark plugs. Uh, so yeah, we just took apart all ignition coils. I believe, yeah, that's the first. That's from the front of the car to the back of the car. Pretty much ignition coils, uh, it's three of each? No, two black ones and four silver ones. And all of these spark plugs look pretty bad to me. I don't know. Um, it could just be that like maybe these have like 10,000 miles on them. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna look up how you know how 50,000 miles spark plugs look like, 60,000 miles, and how bad spark plugs look like. And uh, these might be bad, just bad spark plugs. We might get lucky. Uh, so yeah, we have all that stuff out now. Let's just head down to AutoZone. All right, guys. Before we actually go out and to buy anything, we don't want to spend any money if we don't need to. We're gonna go ahead and test for compression. If it's stupid low, that's really bad. But if it's like somewhat low, it honestly could be because the car hasn't been driven in a very long time. Um, so that all could be factors. So we're just gonna go ahead and test it out. Hopefully, this thing works. <laughs> 150 on that one? That's good. So these are the first set. When we did it the first time, we got 150, 90 to 100, 60, 150, 140, 100. We were like, ah, oh, man, we got 60 and uh, 90. Those are pretty bad numbers. But then when we did it again, we got over 120 on all of them. So I think we're good. Um, According to the Carfax records, it does show the spark plugs were replaced 18,000 miles ago, but these look messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and look up how 18,000 miles spark plugs should look. And uh, if they don't look anything like these, we're gonna go ahead and do the spark plugs. I feel like you kinda screwed her over on that. On our way to AutoZone, boys. New spark plugs, ignition coils are put back in. You want to turn on? Moment of truth. Let's do it. Hey! Hey, dude! Yo, bro, your car turns on. No man. way, dude! Yeah. Dude, I had to give it some gas. I heard it dying out. I yeah, was like, it was like dying. I was like, yeah, I yeah, think just you give it some time. Take it on the block, maybe. Oh, I want to come, dude. Yeah. We're driving to AutoZone. Thanks for the spark plug. <laughs> Thanks for your spark plug, big boys. You know how you feeling, dude? Shit, I don't even know. It's dude. idling low as fuck, but we'll see. It's it started. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually putting this shit in gear, dude. Hey. 
<laughs> Which... <laughs> Bro, it's smooth! <laughs> no way, dude. I hate this turn. You can't see shit. Yeah, I know. Tags are up to date. Tags are good till next year, yeah. guys. What the hell? I probably have to pay only like 40 bucks registration <laughs> because like taxes yeah. is nothing. Damn. Imagine this gonna... shit just goes out on me. Fuel pump just takes a shit. My tools. Oh, that's fine. That's I don't. I'm not even tripping. <laughs> We're driving a car we just picked we can, up. We can buy a new. We new can tool. buy a new tool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, bro. There's no. There's not a single light on the dash. Not even a brake light. Yeah. Not a single light, dude. Full. Full tank of gas. <laughs> he said full tank of gas. <laughs> Take a yeah. fuel, bro. We go. We gotta go to school on our first day. Oh, the plugs were that bugged. <laughs> huh? The plugs were that. Dude, I told you, look bad, bro. They look they bad. Looked bad hella bad. Excuse me, sir. King of the road over here. <laughs> Don't mind us. I feel hella big in this. I know, right? It doesn't feel right. It feels so weird. Yeah. <laughs> More this thing. Okay, let's get it. Okay, so do we start wrapping it? <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> See? Oh, <I> <laughs> He's the like, let's cut the springs. <laughs> forgot the oil pan. Oh, yeah, I forgot pan. about that. Yeah. Dang, oil pan. Yeah, guys, so something that we did notice that's pretty dang scary is the oil pan. And that thing would probably cost 800 to a grand from what I've heard on all my other cars. This is an SUV. I don't know if the job is a little bit different, but all I know, I'm sure it's no fun still. So we'll message her, we'll let her know that's an issue. Uh, but yeah, we got a driving just after maybe like $45 and a couple of testing. If that. If that. Yeah. BMW is working. <laughs> Dude, that's bro. The only thing I'm worried now is the oil leak, but. Yeah. Shit, this shit drives. Look at the windows. Everything. Bro, it's got rear sun shades. Yeah. seats, they work? This it works. I don't know what that is, but it looks like. Yeah, that shit looks pretty fancy. Heated seats. Let me turn the shit down real quick. AC is working. That works. DSC? So we do have a full, oh, full by full light just turned off. So hell yeah. Bro, you can feel it. You can feel like engaged. Really? Click it, watch. Well, I heard like the rear axle. I thought me moving yeah. like this every time I click it. I the axles <laughs> move, unless I'm tripping. And then the trunk button, that worked, right? Does it work? I don't know what you The try. trunk button? PVC, I don't know what that this is. This is the drive off the clip button in case you need to get money from your insurance. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very convenient, very convenient. Uh, it's definitely gonna need an interior detail, which is definitely going to be next on the channel, guys. But honestly, you gotta go. Like that's a, that's the best part. He's like, I gotta go right after this if it doesn't yeah. work. So, literally, the fact that this started right when he was like, I gotta go. I was like, that's perfect, dude. So now you get to go on a good note. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that perfect? Now I'm gonna worry about you starting it without me. <laughs> he was here to catch. Dude, there's no lights. Not a single light. Perfect. What in the detail something that didn't work? Fuck. That fitment though. Get all this room. Is... How do you take it down? Oh. For car parts? Oh my lord. Dude, we can fit. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. And guys, we are here at the outro. I just want to say a huge special thanks to Devon. Um, I honestly don't know what I've done in this life to de deserve such a good friend. Um, he's honestly, he found, you know, he has his grandma had a friend that had this car and uh, he's going through his own car stuff right now and he's like, you know what, I, I don't need this car right now. I'm sure you do. Um, it'd be a great little project. And I was like, yeah, man, honestly, like, that's an insane deal. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're pretty much getting it for a few hundred bucks. We haven't actually paid her yet because she's very, very, very nice. She said, take the car. If you can't fix it, I'll take it back. And if you can fix it, you know, you can just have it for a few hundred bucks. Um, she actually said we can have it for free, but me and Devon both agreed that we should at least give her something for it because that's just, it's too nice. But regardless, we did not expect that this car was going to start running so quickly. It's just insane. School starts tomorrow and I have a car now and I just sold my car yesterday. My other one's at the shop. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm so happy. I, I My emotions are just all over the place. I was just talking to my mom about this. I'm just super happy. 
So again, thank you so much Devon for this. If you guys want to check out Devon's Instagram, he always posts stuff like like all kinds of car stuff. He actually posts car stuff that I do days before it actually goes up on YouTube or a day or two before it goes up on YouTube. So if you guys want to see what I do exclusively before it even hits YouTube, make sure to check out his Instagram down below. Shoot him a follow. Thank him. Comment on his latest picture saying, you know, just 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 shout out to him. Thank you for supporting my channel. Um, all this stuff. He didn't ask for it, but he well, well deserves it because he is saving my ass and he is giving you guys more content because now I can I can I can go after a bigger build. Thank you guys so much. Before we get rid of the X5, um, this isn't my dream X5. This is just a, this is a nice one. It's a good find, but I would rather have the E70 or a newer model to do a build and keep it as like a parts runner. But anyways, I love y'all so much. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. It might be an M3 video or it might be an X5 video. Stay tuned. But without further ado, remember to stay humble, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, time. yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.